Ooh, that was fun. Well. <laughs> that was good stuff right there, man. Hey, Mark Turi, we got the season started in Florida, baby. You're next. Turkey season 23. Let's go. Mark, congratulations, buddy. You did it. Wait, how was that footage, buddy? Oh, it was so beautiful. They're coming down that road once they committed. And uh, we're just having fun with turkey season 23. April Fool's Day. Hey, amen. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> how about that? Spot and stock, baby. Good job. Well, today is April the 1st, April Fool's Day, if you will, opening day here in Texas, and it's the first time that we're going out this season here in Turkey Season 23. We've had several different hunts that we've already brought to you that were hunts from last year, and then we also went down to Florida with Forrest, Wade, Dustin, and uh, it's been pretty good so far as we head out across the country. We're in Texas today, the weather is absolutely perfect. We're down here with our good buddy, uh, Wade Montgomery, Mark Freeze with Analogics is with us. He's up to bat this morning and we're excited to get out. It's 54 degrees, the wind is light, and it blew like crazy yesterday. We had gusts up to 50 and 60, so they got blown around yesterday. Those batteries should be recharged and ready to go today, so we're pretty excited to get out there. Turkey season's here. It's April, everybody. Gotta love it. Turkey season's come and go, and you get towards the end of the season, it could be a little bit of a grind, especially if you go, you know, a month and a half and, and you're, you know, going on sleep deprivation and everything. But that first day of the season, first gobble, first experiences, first chill of the spring, those are those are things you look forward to. I can't wait to get out there this morning. It's a little chilly down this bottom. 47 right now. I bet by daybreak it'll be closer to 40. Yeah. Sounds like there's, I don't know, several on that roost. Wade said there's been six or eight. One of the other ranch heads said he saw 10 strutters down here one day. So along these rivers, they come and go and they float in and out. So we'll see what's actually here, but we're excited to be here. You gotta love spring turkey season, whether you're in Texas, New York, Missouri, California. That one's not far. The sounds of spring. We had a fun hunt this morning, but uh, didn't really see any turkeys. Saw so hogs, saw so deer. Now, as is so typical with real grand hunting, hopefully we'll have some better luck this afternoon. Went all morning, didn't strike any birds, didn't see any birds. We're gonna work our way up this flat because we saw a gobbler way back the way down this power line here. See if he's ready to play. So we'll find out. Wade Montgomery's up to bat. April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day, here we go. First turkey we had in, didn't like the fan. These two were coming, and Wade saw one of them fly up in the tree, and I'm sure the other one did too. And then one long, there was a coyote climbing the tree to try to get to the turkey. He gave up, I thought the coyote would come in, but he didn't. So now we got a spook turkey in the tree and a coyote underneath him waiting for him. A little 
bad luck here on the opening day. It is April Fool's. turkey hunt turned into a coyote hunt really quickly. <laughs> Man, that was some of the wildest things that I've ever seen. We had two gobblers responding to you. I mean, they gobbled six or seven times. We were convinced they were coming to us. Wade Robinson said, I swear I just saw one fly up in a tree. A little bit after that, the second bird flew up and Wiley Coyote was climbing the tree behind him and got <laughs> over halfway up the tree to the to the one gobbler. And he realized it was April Fool's because he wasn't going to get any further up the tree. Right. And I kept calling, thinking, right. well, he can't get to them. Maybe he'll get to us. And he eventually did. He came he in. Walked all the way in from the edge of the hill right there and um, shot him about 25 yards with the old Winchester 20 gauge. I was right. shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I, I was too. <laughs> it was like a Boone and Crockett coming I'm across this cactus you. flat. Well, congratulations, Wade. Well, that, that's a first for me well, for many reasons. What a way to start our Texas trip down here with a coyote down. And we got to congratulate Brian Weiss out there in Nebraska. He and Cody got it done in the snow. That was awesome. And um, we're just having fun with turkey season 23. April Fool's Day. Hey, amen. Good job, buddy. Thank you. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by the new specially designed, lightweight and durable Tenzing Hang Time Day Pack. Go further, hunt longer, Tenzing. Well, we just got set up in one of our favorite areas from the last few years. We've killed some birds down here. Mr. Freeze is up to bat. We've had a good day. We've been close. We even killed a coyote. Maybe we can make it happen here on April Fool's on Freezy. That's why we're open.
Congratulations, buddy. We did it. Night one. I never get tired of seeing the beauty of the wild turkey, and these Rio Grandes are probably one of the prettiest four subspecies. We're down here in Texas. We've come down for probably a decade now, and uh, we're as guests of the Jones family, and Casey Jones and Wade Montgomery have been so awesome to us over the years, and it's uh, here we are, yet another hunt. Wade Montgomery killed a coyote today, which I think he preferred that over a turkey, and then Mark gets it done here this evening on April Fool's Day. So Brian, Brian Weezy got it done in Nebraska. I mean, it's, it's been a heck of a day for turkey season 23. Yeah, none of us really wanted to come up behind the gun on April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of superstition there. Everybody was like, I'm out. <laughs> Luckily, we twisted Mark's arm yeah. and he got it done. Congrats, buddy. Oh, I thank you. I thank Casey, the Jones family, it's amazing. It is. It's always fun. Wade, how was that footage, buddy? Oh, it was just so beautiful. Them coming down that road and once they committed, gobbled right into frame, puffed up, and came right in. Beautiful. beautiful. Waiter, thank you. Absolutely. Congratulations, Marcus, Freezy. Thank you. Thank you. Time to uh, strike everything down and get ready for tomorrow morning. There you go. Awesome. You know, that's a that's a wrap down here in Texas. We started this morning popping the blind up. We've popped it up a few times today and it's quick, it's mobile, it's easy. That's one of the things we like about Muddy. Their hub system is different than anybody else's on the market. If you've ever used one, you know what I'm talking about. They literally will not fail. It's nice when the bags aren't too small. <laughs> well, it is. That's what I like about yeah. these. So many blinds out there, nothing fits. No. And of course, the first time in they fit, but then when you roll them up like this in a hurry, you want them to be able to go. There you go. Yeah. That is easy. Up and over. And lightweight too, that's what I like. No matter if you've got a long pack in or a short one, we're short tonight because Wade's coming to pick us up, but if you got a long pack in, I mean, you don't have any weight there. Zero. It's a light snack. <laughs> Turkey season is here and DeerCast has you covered. Use maps to mark your hunting spots, roost trees, strut zones, and more. And prep for your hunts with our advanced weather tracking and wind tools. Prep, predict, and pursue with DeerCast. <laughs> the uh, pickup time was 6.12 or 6 o'clock. It's now 6.12 and we've been calling Mr. Montgomery. Freezy was gonna sleep in because he killed a bird. I think Wade Montgomery, for the first time ever, has slept in. Freeze has the keys to our vehicle, so Wade and I are sitting here all dressed up and no place to go. We can't even go get donuts. We can't do anything. Hey, I'm heading your way. Hey, buddy. I'm running a little late this morning. We'll get him. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> well, he's up. Glad we called a few times. That was the second call. It's now 6.25, it's dead calm. They wouldn't have gobbled this morning anyway, Wait, First south, it's supposed to get windy later, later today, so we're gonna make hay while the sun shines here this morning. If Wade Montgomery ever gets here. Roost huts are overrated on Rio's anyway. <laughs> Look at our boy, come on now. Is he smiling or frowning? Oh, he's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> we see that pretty smile. Come on, get in the truck. Get in the truck, shut up. I was uh, a little sleepy this morning. Slept in the alarm. So we're gonna run out to the Noble. We're a little crunch for time as far as the roof time, but we, know where, we know where a few birds are, pretty close, so. Let's go somewhere now. It might be a pair, but 
this is the opening they come to a lot because we always come the other way and they're already they're already out here i can see turkey dropping right here so we're gonna be here and beat them beat them to this beautiful field that's the road right there yesterday we worked this bird in and we had to sit down right by the truck because he came so quick when we were on this road back that way this time There's at least one bird. There may be two birds. He's got one by the roost. Oh, he's got a nice pretty morning. It's cool and calm. Yeah. So. And he's well rested. That's the best part. When, yeah. you when your guide is well rested, that's important. Hey, you know what? It forced us into a plan B, and I like plan B. This oh, is yeah. nice. That might be what we needed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shot, buddy. How about that, guys? Good job, Wade. <laughs> Smashed. How awesome was that? That was fun. I got the shakes pre usual. Good lord, guys. That was awesome. Good job. He gobbled all morning long. Pretty fun start to the day. We uh, had a hard time yesterday, but got in here actually a little late this morning. Better late than never, huh? Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to go with that today. No, but we had a couple of birds roosting um, down here on this old lake dam, and we've had really good success in this food plot um, in past years. And Knowledge of how to get in. You're never out of the game. You go to plan B. Yes, we slept in. We didn't go to the roost we were planning on, but that's right. okay. We went turkey hunting, and it paid off. Yes, sir. Well, no, that was, that was a textbook morning roost hunt. It was. He, he gobbled from first light. Mark kind of was giving some excited yelps and would fire him up and then be go quiet, quiet for 10 minutes and then kind of get his attention again. And it finally, curiosity killed the cat because he, he couldn't did. stand it. He had to come check out the Jake and the lay down him. That one two punch of audibly getting them coming and then finishing them with the decoys is just a, a hard recipe to beat. And one of the things about the decoys that I like is it gets them into a tight range where you know you're going to kill the turkey when you pull the trigger. And I think right. that's that's part of turkey hunting. You don't want to be shooting out there at 40, 50, 60 yards. Right. Decoys get them in close, whether it's it's us as adults or you're taking a youth or a new hunter, it, there's nothing wrong with getting a turkey in close and making sure you close the deal. I agree 100 percent. Man, they it worked like a charm this morning. It did. So. They blessed us with a beautiful morning, buddy. Oh, that's great. Let's Thank go. you again, Wade. Let's go get coyote another yes, one. Coyote yesterday and turkey today. Yes, sir. Good stuff, buddy. We just uh, spotted two different strutters with three hens. 
up this road. We're below low rise, so we're gonna get set up and uh, see if we can pull them. Well, that worked like a charm. Hens came solid. Gobbler followed. He started to cut off, go to them. He came running, then he cut off. I started yelping, he gobbled. Wade shot him there about 25 yards. Love it. How about that, mister? Okay, he got a little bit past me, but the gobbler came running right down the road. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Man, that was fun. Awesome. That happened quick, too. Literally, was just getting set up, and he was on his way. Woo, he was fired up this morning. Good. And then I started to- Good job. Back to him too, but I don't know if it got- That was a quick hunt too. Yeah. Hens got past us and Mark called and he come running. <laughs> it was awesome. Good stuff. <laughs> Pretty burn. Man, what a morning. Wade Montgomery got done off the roost. Um, and we spotted these birds uh, on our way out. And uh, Mark and I jumped out, made a quick play on them. And uh, before we know it, the hens were coming right down the road, right at us. And uh, not far behind was this beautiful gobbler. And uh, like I said, it was a quick hunt. Uh, this, one, this hunt right here is quite different. We got out of, out of where we were with Wade, came down in this area, got aggressive with him. And like I said, two completely different hunts. Here it is a little bit mid morning now. And, uh, and like I said, just an awesome hunt down here in the Lone Star State. Awesome. Wow, awesome. Well, here we are, the afternoon of day two. Wade scored this morning. Wade Robinson also scored this morning. Freezy got it done. This afternoon it's 90 degrees. I think it's your turn. The heat is here, now I'm up to bat. So we're gonna ease down in here and start, uh, go down here this afternoon where we started yesterday morning, see if we can get back on those birds. Wade put eyes on them last night when we were hunting with Mark Freeze right. and saw them out here in this field. So we're now gonna give up on them, see if we can't have some luck here this afternoon. Yes, sir. Of course, walk a call our way down to where the closer to where they should be this afternoon. Yes, sir. I think that's a good idea. So, here we go. Let's do it. Robinson's all brushed in over there. If they do what they did last night, 
fan die by the fan. We had one coming, I mean, as pretty and as hard as he could come. Right down the fence, exactly what we set this up for. He got to about 40 yards. I assume saw this trophy top and just stopped, turned around and walked away. So I'm gonna drop the trophy top. If he comes back out, if a group comes out, I'll put it back up. Got him. How about that for a spot stock, baby? Good job. Whew. That's the same turkey that came in earlier. And he gave us a slip. And we got out and around because we saw him strutting down into this flat. We, we knew how the uh, land laid, so it reminds me of hunting Nebraska, getting in on him. And we did, and I just shot him at about 35, 40 yards. Whew. Fun stuff. <laughs> that was a fun hunt. <laughs> yeah. He put on a show out there, had some hens. Finally, it came right in. I had to keep scooting up yeah. to finally get a shot. Woo, Wade Montgomery, 34 yards. Nice. Out on the money. How cool was that? That was so much fun. Man, that's a pretty good turkey, huh? He's pretty. Yeah, oh, he's a man. Wait, he's, really? he's first, yeah. <laughs> he's a man. Hey, Thank you, Wade. Congratulations, Wayne. man, that we, this bird made us work for him a little bit, but. It was fun. Oh, that was great fun. I that... think great fun. We sat there for two hours, typical roost setup, big field trying to narrow it down to a few yards. And he, this turkey started coming. And then he just stopped and turned around and went away. Probably didn't like the fan. After I sat there for a while, I go, you know, there's a bunch of big groups of turkeys. They've probably got him run off. And right. he's a long spurred turkey, but that means he's old and he's not part of the group of the younger turkeys. Exactly, those are probably two year olds. And they're, and they're, they're running him off. Him run off. And he, he did not like the fan, he didn't finish up on it. And then we saw him again with hens leave the field and Wade knew, Wade Montgomery knew this was the direction to the roost. So he pointed us, he said, get down in this stuff, which we've, we've hunted down here before. And uh, didn't we kill a turkey? Like, we killed one a little ways back to the south. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. But anyway, we got down in here and I mean, the country is just gorgeous. It reminds me of Nebraska, some of those hills we hunt in. And uh, at, for a while, he acted like he was gonna come. He's trying to get to his hens 
And then Wade and I had to make a move to get up on top of the hill. He probably saw some movement, and uh, luckily I was able to make a shot at about 35 yards. That was a, that was a great shot with old Winchester. Uh, Man, what a great trip down here. The well, coyote. Freezes uh, and, and we nearly had another coyote tonight as Yes, well. we did. It ran right by me and got past my swing. We got the coyote, freezes bird, your bird this morning, Wade's bird this morning, and then this one this evening. I mean, what a I tremendous. I would say it was a pretty, we, we had a rough start there on April Fool's Day, but we've, we've made the most of it. And it's, you know, that, that was a great two days. It, it's, uh, <laughs> the icing on the cake. Two days, it feels like a week. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> we have hunted hard. I mean, all day, both days. and. Here it is, we're wrapping it here at sunset on the end of the second day. Four birds down, a coyote down, lots of encounters, lots of laughs, lots of good times. Turkey season 23, it doesn't get any better, buddy. I guarantee you, it was so much fun. Thank, Thank you, you Mark. Appreciate you. You bet. He's, uh, these guys here is gonna take a little ride in the airplane and get back to the Midwest. Head north, Iowa, first season is next. We can't wait to get up there. It's gonna be fun. God, we love turkey season. Don't we? Turkey season 23 rolling on. Off to a great start. Coming back, Perry. Dog, paradise is coming in. Gonna be fun in Iowa first season. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This segment of VOD TV is brought to you by AVNX Turkey Decoys. Fuel the madness.